nervous. I've forgotten already. He, they, yeah, Jesus. Boom! Goliath goes down. Personal best! Woo! It's like a test. I'm sorry. So, is this Jimmy again? And Ron here with you. We're here for another segment of Caffeinated Pastors. Yep, this time we've got Sandra on the docket, so exciting. She's going to tell the story of Mary and Martha. Because I know my Bible so well. Action. Okay, so Jesus and his disciples, they're walking from Jerusalem to Bethany, and then on their way, um, they, Martha sees them, and Martha invites them into her home, and she's like, come on in here. And so Mary's her sister, and they're both in the house, and then Jesus is teaching, and the people are all around, the disciples. And so then Mary is sitting at Jesus' feet listening too, which is kind of weird because women don't do that back in the day. And so Martha's prepping all the food because there's all these people, and she's like getting frustrated. So then she goes to Jesus, and she's like, Jesus, don't you think it's like not fair that my sister is like in here doing listening and all this stuff when I'm doing all these other things? And Jesus responds to her her was like, uh, Martha, you know, you're worried about many things in this world, but you know, Mary's choosing what's better and it's not going to be taken away from her because, you know, I'm Jesus and I have the words of life. Amen. Good job. I can't stop looking at her earrings. <laughs> they were mesmerizing the whole time. <laughs> anyway, that's awesome. awkward. Good times. Uh, but Bible is neat. Yep. Yes. Let's watch that one yeah, again. again. My bad. I should leave. Sandra, take four. Fun fact, 43rd cup of coffee for Sandra. Action. Actually, Jimmy, you make the coffee reference. I'm not sure Sandra needs the coffee That's to true. speed talk like that. <laughs> it's just water. Okay, so Jesus and his disciples, they're walking from Jerusalem to Bethany. Now they're walking to Jerusalem, yeah. but right cities, close. And then on their way... Um, the, Martha sees them, and Martha invites them into her home, and she's like, come on in here. And so Mary's her sister, and they're both in the house, and then Jesus is teaching, and the people are all around, the disciples. And so then Mary... Just a note, this Mary is not Jesus' mother. Mary was a common name back then, so there are a lot of different Marys in the Bible. ...is sitting at Jesus' feet listening too, which is kind of weird because women don't do that back in the day. The craziest thing there is if you were a woman and there was a rabbi and his disciples coming to your house, it was because they would have been inv invited by a male leader or the homeowner, and he's nowhere mentioned. So as a woman, all you would have ever done is prepared the food came and made sure everything was okay. And so Martha's prepping all the food because there's all these people and she's like getting frustrated. So then she goes to Jesus and she's like, Jesus, don't you think it's like not fair that my sister is like in here doing listening and all this stuff when I'm doing all these other things? And Jesus' response to her was like, uh, Martha, you know, you're worried about many things in this world, but you know, Mary's choosing what's better and it's not gonna be taken away from her because you know, I'm Jesus and I have the words of life, amen. <coughs> And actually, Jesus wasn't snarky with her at all. The text actually shows that he was very compassionate with her. It wasn't a lot, oh, Martha, give me a break. It was Martha, oh, aren't you sweet? I just want to stick you in my pocket. Pockets. They have pockets? Yeah, again, under the tunic to the left. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's a good story, Sandra. Yep. You want to read more? Luke 10, 38 to 42. Look it up. <laughs> 